This segment, let's go ahead and discuss voltaic cells, also known as galvanic cells, and you might actually um, interact, I mean, hear them called electrochemical cells. That's kind of the broader term. So again, this falls under the heading of electrochemistry, which means that we're talking about oxidation reduction reactions. Again, remember they're coupled and they involve the transfer of an electron. So more specifically, a voltaic cell is a device in which the transfer of electrons takes place through an external pathway rather than directly between the reactants. And in a moment, I'm going to show you a picture and kind of discuss how that occurs. So basically what's happening is that we're harnessing the energy from a spontaneous redox reaction and using it to do work. And in this case, the work is the transfer of electrons. So you have one cell that has the half reaction that involves redox and one cell that involves the half reaction for the oxidation part. So one cell for the reduction, one cell for the oxidation, and that creates a flow of electrons through the external circuit. Okay, so basically in this case, let's go look at kind of a depiction of this. So let's call this our voltaic or galvanic cell. So we're going to have this side over here on the left is where our, our oxidation half cell, and this guy on the right is our reduction half cell. And so here we're going to have a piece of zinc in a reducing agent solution, an electrolytic solution that's zinc sulfate. Okay, and so this zinc Sulf, the zinc solid is going to serve as our anode, and this is where the oxidation is occurring. And then over here on the right-hand side, we have our half cell where reduction is taking place, and we've got um, a piece of copper and a copper sulfate electrolytic solution, and that's where the reduction is occurring. So remember, negative over here for oxidation because this is losing of electrons. Reduction is positive because it's the gaining of electrons. So we have the electron flow going from this side, we call the anode, flowing over to the cathode. All right, so then here we have this guy that's called the salt bridge. And the salt bridge consists of, in this case, sodium nitrate in our fake um, kind of voltaic cell. And that's because sodium nitrate is just a salt, which means it's gonna break up into its ionic parts, sodium and nitrate. And you'll recall from your understanding of displacement reactions or replacement reactions that these guys are just gonna break up and they're just gonna be spectator ions. Okay, so they just serve a purpose for basically making sure that these two solutions here, these electrolytic solutions, remain electrically neutral so that electrons are only flowing through here. So this electron flow would be registered in this case by a voltmeter, but you could attach it to anything else of your choosing that would allow you to show how the energy was harnessed. And that is voltaic cells.